So for this week's build, um, this is a pretty difficult week. Um, they had that incapacitated. And last time I don't remember the cooldowns being this slow when they did it. Um, so um, I think they might have even increased the slowness of the cooldown. That's what incapacitated means. It means you got a, a longer wait period. And so for this build, I think it's really, really helps with, um, with this week. It's basically a cooldown build. There's two ways you can run it. But um, I found that after running it a couple of times, this is the best way um, that I'm going to show you guys here. And um, you can see um, as soon as I shot that arrow, you look down at the cooldown and it's already got a decent amount back up. Uh, and that's because we're really trying to just maximize the cooldown, get those explosive arrows going. If you look at, I think, my week six build, which is basically the most powerful hunter build that you can do because it's a complete fire build based on cooldown. Um, but um, um, I'll show you guys kind of here what, what we did. We ran explosive arrows. And again, incapa incapacitated means that the cooldown is takes longer for your ghost weapons and your um, ability. So we're going with cooldown ability, 15% um, to kind of help mitigate that. And you see a lot of people who rely on ghost weapons this week are really struggling getting through this nightmare. I noticed some people really going down a lot. Um, just because they're so used to having those ghost weapons come back. But we're going 25% status effect and we're going with the body shots with the bow here. The other way to run this is two ghost weapons and it'll be like the, the week six build where you're running the kunai, but I decided not to do that. And I'll tell you why here in a second. But basically we got another ability cooldown at 10% on the sword. And then I'm actually switching out um, this, the bow to go draw speed and reload speed because we're really trying to build resolve up with that body headshot ability. So we're trying to get um, as close to full draw as quickly as possible. And then again, we're running ability cooldown again on the charm. So we're basically looking at about 37% cooldown, which is almost the max you can get. And then this week we're running Rancid to apply weekend in the dust throw. And the reason why is because dust throw is you get that weaken effect, which makes your ultimate. You basically want to weaken the um, the oni and then hit him with the dust to uh, make your ultimate kind of more powerful without actually having an ultimate increase ability. And also, dust like kunai has a very short cooldown, so you can get that back pretty quickly. And then you're running smoke again um, for the hunter. Smoke is basically a must-have. Um, and probably the assassin as well but basically that's that's what we're running and like i said you can run this with the um, spirit kunai as well so you take away the body headshot and you're running spirit kunai to get that um cooldown and i i did it both ways and i found that this was kind of the better way because just because um the ultimate can kind of bail you out a little bit but the cooldown does the, the spirit kunai does help you get that miss back the um, smoke bomb back a lot quicker so you can use that a lot more but um you guys go ahead and give this build a try again this is um this week the um the modifier if you don't know what incap incapacitated means it means that the cooldowns take a lot longer so that's what you're seeing with um why it's taking so long for your cooldowns if you've been trying to run it and so uh, this build helps maximize your cooldown again you're getting 37 percent basically on the cooldown if you don't have those cooldowns, um, I would say run Spirit Kunai. Say you don't have cooldown on a sword and you don't have cooldown on a charm to combine. With all of those, I would run the um, the same build, swap out body headshot for Spirit Kunai to um, help you get a decrease in cooldown because the explosive arrows are, are just so powerful. And you see at the, um, at the beginning here where I um, basically just take out almost everybody at the beginning um at the first wave just with one explosive arrow um headshot so definitely get this one a try you guys let me know what you think and um until next week um i'll see you later peace